Ready for the matchup of the century. It's money versus Capcom. Yeah, Capcom has screwed themselves over so many times. Come on, guys. Yes, with the lovely Street Fighter V coming out, Capcom finally has a little bit of a profit, but Capcom is still suffering from an overall net loss because of stupid decisions. Guys, come on. Now, if I was in Capcom's shoes, okay? Let me put on my Capcom shoes here, right? If I was in Capcom's shoes, what would I do? What have fans been really wanting from me? As Capcom, what can I bring that wouldn't cost much money, could milk up a little bit more money, and, huh, maybe I wouldn't have to spend so much development. Oh, that's it? That's it? I could re-release a lot of the old arcade classics, maybe? I mean, that Aliens vs. Predator, which was a fun arcade game. Willow, fun arcade game. Saturday Night Slam Masters. Capcom, you had a whole mess of arcade games. And if you just port them, just port them, push them out on Steve, shovel them, shovel them. It's not even shovel of shame because these were solid games back in the day. Shovel them out while you're trying to figure out what your next big move is. You can make money. People will buy this crap because we know it's crap, but we loved it as a child. Look, they really screwed this one up though. Look at the Magic Sword Final Fight. The reason they screwed it up is because you have to be online at all times to play either game, no matter what. Otherwise, if it cannot detect your connection, it's a... <laughs> yep, you can't play this game. You're not connected. We can't figure out whether you've downloaded it illegally or not. <sighs> Screw that. Do like Dungeons & Dragons, where you just allow us to play the game online, offline, doesn't matter. That was excellent. Now, start kicking back more of your old arcade classics. Stick them out there for us. You know what? You had a lot of good games in the arcades when I was a kid. Stick them out there. People will buy them. They are low entry for you guys. But you will make a profit. People will be sitting there like, oh, Aliens vs. Predator by Capcom? I'll pay five bucks just to see what this is about. They will have fun. They will enjoy them, and they may buy more of your old arcade games. Do that. Trust me. Trust people who have played enough Capcom games to tell you these were awesome, these were epic. If you can recycle some of your old Disney contracts, those would come great. Capcom did a lot of solid games that they can still push out and make money off of while they're figuring out their next move, the next game they want to crap on. And yes, I have suspicions that their next Resident Evil is going to be a tank because it goes in threes, right? So we saw Revelations, Revelations 2, and Revelations 3 is probably going to tank or whatever. This Resident Evil 7 is possibly going to tank. It's hard to say, hard to say, because technically it's going to be the third one out, but technically it's going to be the first one. Whatever, whatever. Anyway, Capcom... Listen, good things. People, you 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 think I'm on the you think I'm right? Comment below. You think I'm rolling off on the rails? Tell me I'm on that crazy train below and I want to hear from you and I will see you next time with our next news update. Thanks for watching though.